Welcome to our Refugee Week Assembly. We are a multicultural community and acknowledge the Wongo people who are the traditional custodians of this place we call Ashfield. Together, we are responsible for taking care of this land. Running, screaming, crying and shouting. These are the sounds of thousands of people fleeing from, their, from war, death and destruction, leaving behind everything they've known and loved. These people are called refugees, but who are refugees? Refugees are people fleeing conflict and persecution by extremists, as defined by the United Nations Human Rights Council. Over 70.8 million people have been displaced from their home country. Some countries that refugees come from are Iraq, Syria, Myanmar, Afghanistan and Iran. Countries that refugees flee to are Australia, Greece, Germany, Sweden, the United Kingdom and Italy. Ashfield Public School has 10 wellbeing choices that we practice and uphold. Two of the choices which are relevant in Refugee Week are being inclusive and embracing diversity. Our school always welcomes students and families from different cultures, country, countries and walks of life, including refugees. Our school motto is, every child, every opportunity. This does not just apply to students at our school, it should apply to refugees. All refugees deserve the same opportunity as every other citizen in this country in order to improve their own lives in Australia as a whole. 2020 is the third year Ashford Public School has been involved in Refugee Week. In 2018, the theme of Boundless Plains saw the construction of 515 clay figures, referring to our national anthem's words, we have boundless plains to share. Yet, part of the Australian government rejects refugees and puts them into detention centres. In 2019, the theme of home saw a whole school collaborative artwork created by students from kindergarten to year six. Nearly 500 in individual and unique buildings were created to form an entire city of houses and safe places. The photo of the installation is featured on the New South Wales education calendar for the month of June. I will now let Mia explain the reasons behind the 2020 installation. This piece, Welcome Wish, is based on the Japanese folklore and legend which says that anyone who folds 1,000 paper cranes will be granted a wish. In Japanese folklore, the crane, a type of large migratory bird, was thought to live for a thousand years and they are held with in the highest regard. A collection of a thousand cranes is called a Senbazuru. This story of the power of folding the thousand paper cranes was made popular by the story of Sadako Sasaki. Sadako was a little girl who was exposed to radiation as an infant when the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Although she survived the bomb, she was diagnosed with leukemia by the age of 12. She decided to fold 1,000 paper cranes, hoping that her wish to live would come true. The story of Sadako is still poignant and relevant 70 years on, with the effects of war being one of the main reasons that people are forced into being displaced from their homes. The enormity and scopes of the issues regarding displaced people and refugees can sometimes feel incredibly overwhelming. So this piece is a way of expressing some of those feelings of hopelessness into a wish, fulfillment and optimism. The use of newspaper, often a source of angst with the news it carries within, means that a material which would typically be discarded is given a new life as a beautiful collaborative artwork. We would now like to welcome Ms. Karen Manning, our artist in residence and our student representative, Oversee Huntley, to the stage to explain the current installation. 
Firstly, thank you so much to our beautiful SRC for all those really wonderful words about our piece. It is always a really great privilege to be able to work on this piece. Um, I really love working on the Refugee Week project because it is such an important piece that we do. And it's a really important issue that we really need to be aware of. We are living through a really strange time. We're wiping off that microphone between uses. There's social distancing. You've had classes online. Even this class that you did was partially done online with me doing a video first. So we're living through a really strange time. But for us, you know, it's only sort of mild inconvenience. You know, we have to move. We can't see our friends at certain times that we may want to. We can't travel when we want to. Our parents might be working from home. We have to share computers with siblings or parents or family members. But for many refugees at the moment, all of their borders are closed. So there's lots and lots of people who are stuck now in this limbo where they can't leave where they are, even though they desperately want to and they desperately need to. So I think this actually makes this piece probably one of my favourite pieces because of how meaningful it is in 2020. And I've been really, really thrilled by how selective and how careful everybody has been when they've been working on this piece. Everyone has been really considerate. And especially with my stage threes, I have had many, many out of this group student leaders. I have really seen you really grow and blossom into beautiful young people who are going to be wonderful young adults and teenagers as you head into high school. It's really wonderful to see. You've come into classes with me. You've been patient. You've shown younger students how to do things. And that's been a really wonderful thing to see. And I've been really proud of all of you. I'd like for Augustine now to talk about this experience. Um, Augustine has been with me for pretty much all of the classes that I've done, and I've done now 18 different classrooms, um, comprising of 21 classes over those 18 classrooms. And she's been with me for nearly all of those. She's helped me with the in-store. She's stayed after school and helped me. She's come in early and helped me put all this work together. And so it's been really wonderful having Augustine as a representative. Now, um, uh, going to every sing nearly every single class has been really tough. I mean, it's, re it's really hard to try to explain to a kindergarten how to open a piece of paper and then flatten it down, which makes it even better for me to grow as a person as well, to help them and like help them learn how to do this stuff. Um, now, okay, so with this, with making this artwork, we all wrote little welcome wishes on each and every single crane, and with them, we, like, helping them all, like, write their messages and seeing every single student write their messages is just really heartwarming, yeah. Thank you very much, Augustine. And thank you to all of my student helpers that I've had in this class. And there are many, many in here. And just because I have Augustine up here at the front doesn't mean that I, can, I can't see every one of you. I can see all of you here, Abigail and Benita, Grace. There's a lot of you in this room now who've been wonderful. Actually, you've all been wonderful. So I think you all really deserve a round of applause. Coming into this special space with stage three students and seeing this amazing creation. And one thing that I, uh, that strikes me is the effort that we put into something that is so temporary. Like this is here for Karen just today. And so much effort and so much energy has gone into creating something that is deeply reflective and then will be gone. And I guess it, what I think each year is it is worth the effort. The issue of refugees is something that we must never, ever, ever let 
disappear from um, our thoughts and our efforts to be inclusive at Ashfield and in our community. So it is really a special time each year that we can welcome uh, our artwork into the school and have that opportunity to where we can think about the very serious issue of people who do not have a safe place to call home and who desperately want somewhere to grow up and share in the dreams and hopes for a future that everyone um, has in this room. So thank you, Karen, for being the champion of this cause and for your team and Jane and the every girl and boy and every teacher at Asheville Public School. So thank you again and how wonderful. Thank you.